Hello, everybody. How are you all? Get your dancing shoes on and welcome to the Rock and Roll Dance Party. <laughs> Now, we'd like to tell you a little musical story about a young group called... Give him a kick. And his story is uh, a pretty important one, especially to the youth of our country. They want to learn how to become hit stars overnight. Heading for the million market sales, here they are. Uh, we're giving it a kick. This is, our, this is our very last gig of all time. And uh, it's in Dolan's Warehouse in Limerick on December the 18th, 2009. Steve. I suppose we have done six. Six joined ones Waterford, Cork, Cork Dublin, Fulham. We're talking about that. Limerick and Monaga. Monaga and Limerick. Yeah, Monaga and Limerick. Yeah, they've all so been great. They've been brilliant, yeah. It's funny, uh, it took, uh, it took us having to break up before we'd have played our best games of all time. Yeah, it took us to break up before someone would lift me up and pass me around the crowd, which was amazing, I found. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was great. And there was about eight people playing Keith's drum kit in Monaco as well, which was uh, stunning. Yeah. Great. <laughs> no, it really has been amazing. It's the yeah. response from people as well. It's been overwhelming. That's a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's I remember like booking these final tour uh, gigs about um, four months ago or something. And this one just, this final one seemed so far away at the time of booking. It's like yeah. Christmas. It just came so fast. It's really, really came very, very, very fast. Still hasn't set in that no, it's here today. Yeah, no, it's yeah. crazy. So emotional. This is yeah, this is definitely an emotional time. Yeah. Uh, more so maybe late, or late tonight, <laughs> or uh, definitely tomorrow. And I don't know. I don't know. Little things like when um, any time we used to play here, we'd always go home for an hour or something before we come in and that yeah. it kind of really hit me when I went home just like, you know just running home having a shower getting dressed coming back in it's the little things that are that are kind of they're, they're more weight this time it's like the sound check and stuff it's our last sound check it's, it's all very it's very strange I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it yeah. well I think we're really happy that decided to do it this way as opposed to just maybe playing a gig every Christmas or something or every once a year and just taking it, yeah, letting it fizzle out a little bit. Yeah, we, really we wanted to grow the band. Yeah, we wanted it to be really definite, and just so people understood, like you know, this is, a, this is a big deal. It's a big deal to us, and it seems like it's a big deal to other people as well, which is amazing. Which is really, really, it's really great. It's really great to see. The amount of people have travelled to be here, it's overwhelming as well. It's just buses from all over the country coming down. It's friends over from China, another, another couple from Scotland, a guy from England, a guy from Brussels. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's really People have made it's a huge change. effort to be here, so yeah. I don't think we regret anything. I think that'd be fair to say, wouldn't it? Definitely. Because yeah. we're going to be sad and, you know, be like a remorse and all that, but like, I don't think we're going to regret anything. We've got the best time ever and um, we're so lucky. We're so lucky to be able to have done what we've done. Like, yeah. just looking back on it, like, I'm just like, that's nuts. I can't believe all the stuff we've done together. Some of it I've forgotten. Just obviously this being a time of our final tour, it's been a time to kind of reminisce and look back and think and talk about stuff. It's good. Jeez, we've really, we've really crammed a lot into seven years, you know. Yeah. So I, I don't have any regret. I don't think. Obviously, it's sad that it's our last gig ever, you know. But and it's a life-changing experience for not just for the two of us as well, like talking to my mates and stuff that would have come to all our, all, like a lot of the gigs, a lot of the uh, kind of events and festivals and stuff. They all would have come and just it's kind of been a main thing for a lot of a lot of our close friends. Yeah, it's just been given, yeah, that we're kind of, it's just accepted, like, well, by me and Keith anyway, that we're just in the band, it's what we do. And if we can bring our friends' places as well, it's great, because they're our friends, and it's, you know, it's just, it's just part of our lives, and they're part of our lives, and we're part of theirs, so. Yeah. There's all that, I haven't thought about that. I know, it's just yeah. it's a whole era, really, of... Yeah, we grew up with this band, like, you know, like, so. Yeah. I know it's going to be our best gig ever tonight, anyway. We're going to try making our best, anyway. Yeah. 
I didn't have to try everything. Everything, everything I do is pretty much good. <laughs> so. <laughs> Absolutely, everybody supported us over the seven years. We don't want to start naming names because there's so many of you, yeah. and you're all absolutely brilliant. We appreciate everything. So thank you so much.